I'm here at Total Eclipse of the Point and I'm super excited to get back into the park early on this season. I hope you're ready. I hope you're excited. Let's go check it all out together. Let's go. We're coming into Cedar Point right now. First time in the 2024 season. Actually, I guess second time in the 2024 season because I was also here for winter chill out this year. Very excited to get out there. There it is. I could not have my, find my pass. I have too many pass options. <laughs> so I was definitely not sure where I was gonna go, but here we are at Total Eclipse of the Point. I don't know how many tickets they sold, but it looks like the parking lot we're like five minutes late right now, something like that. It looks like the parking lot's half full already, although it may not be packed in there either. It may be like, a lot of times people seem to like to park like one row at a time and they don't actually fill it all in. Yeah, like here I'm able to go quite a bit further. I could even go further up from here, but this is fine. 23C, let's go. Now, Total Eclipse of the Point is a hard ticket event here at Cedar Point. We get to go in. It did cost $99 for me to get in, a little bit more, more than that with tax. And uh, there were others. There were also some other packages with food and things like that that you could get if you wanted that. I chose the cheapest option, although I'm sure I'll eat inside also because I don't really want to leave. I have until six o'clock tonight and I'm coming in just after 11 o'clock. Despite my being willing to criticize Cedar Point and being willing to continue criticizing Cedar Point because I'm sure I will be, um, I am also incredibly excited to be here. I only criticize Cedar Point because I expect a lot out of them and I know that they can deliver awesome, awesome things um, and I want to encourage them it's always be better not to be worse or not to be cynical uh, where all they want to do is just make a lot of money. Um, but I uh, also support them making a lot of money if they can and I'm very excited about this event. I do also know that not everybody is going to be able to do something like this. So this is my way of experiencing it, taking you along with me. So let's go. It feels so good to enter back into the plaza again one more time. And this is also, because it's a ticketed event, a very limited event. So I'm looking forward to smaller lines. I, I'm not sure that they'll be too small. I mean, just look at this train right here. It's not empty. <laughs> so it's not gonna be too small, I'm sure. But we have all day and there's limited amounts of rides that are open for us to hang out with. Some food, some entertainment. And of course, the eclipse for us to look at out on the beach. All right, and here we come in to get all our stuff. You're welcome. Enjoy your Hello. Got your glasses in there. Thank you. Okay, so this has glasses in it too. And it's also kind of our lanyard for the whole day too. Um, does show what's open on there too, it looks like. That's cool. All right, let's go on in and see what all Cedar Point has for us on this very special event. It's also a beautiful day. Like, I might go get my shirt off out on the beach. <laughs> Which, who would think that I would be able to do that in early April? Like, it's like April, what, 7th, 6th, 4th? I don't remember, but it's April something. I've been gone for the last week with Drew. <laughs> Drogo and I have been hanging out for the last week. We went to Carowinds for a while and then Yoko had to leave and we went to, uh, it was just me and, and Drew hanging out and going to see everything else. <laughs> so definitely fun. Um, and we've been, we've been doing a whole bunch of stuff. So it feels like a blur right now. All right, let's head on into Point Plaza. We're gonna go see what all merch stuff they have, especially for this particular event. So I'm seeing a lot of Cedar Point merch stuff. Oh, this is the line for merch right now. Oh my word, what are people buying? 
This is wild, guys. This merch line goes all the way around. That is crazy. Actually, I kind of like some of these. I like this Cedar Point mug. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, there's nothing in here, though, that I feel like is so special to warrant a line like this, though. I had no idea this was going <laughs> to elicit that kind of response. Also, we have a new show over here, and I think this is what it's going to be called. I don't have confirmation on that. It could be an old sign, but I do know that they have a new show in here um, for this year. Now, they have the sign up for Bandstand USA. I think that was an old show, but I don't know. It says June 4th through August 21st. That sounds about right for this year, but I don't know. It'll be cool, whatever they have, whenever they have it. I'll be incredibly excited about what's in the Jack Aldrich Theater. Oh look, I just noticed this too. This actually comes with two pins. Total Eclipse of the Point and a square Total Eclipse of the Point. They have half the park just totally closed off here, but we still can see it. See Raptor, Val Raven, and Top Thrill 2. I hear they may be testing today at Top Thrill 2. We'll have to see if that proves to be true or not. I'm not sure about it. It'd be pretty cool though. Meditate in my direction. Feel your way. They're doing something over here. I'm not sure what it is, but we're gonna go look at it. I spy, find all seven phases of the eclipse. And then you can do some coloring over here too. I'm still waiting on them playing Total Eclipse of the Point or Total Eclipse of the Heart. I haven't heard it yet. I'm a little bit disappointed, honestly. Now, I just got to do a little bit of a drawing there. That's kind of fun. Um, I have no idea what they're going to use it for, but why not, right? <laughs> Out here is where all the action's happening. There's something up here. Looks like a countdown for the Total Eclipse, and they have some music to go along with it, looks like, too. Total eclipse of the point. Two hours and 41 minutes until that happens. So while we wait for the next three hours, we're going to go do a little bit of something fun here. Oh, actually right here. Oh, share your total eclipse and Cedar Point memories to seal this moment of time into our time capsule. Guests will relive your memories in 2099 when the time capsule is open. All right, so we are on our way to Gatekeeper to ride for the first time this season because it's open. We might as well check it out a little bit. While we have the three hours here, then we're going to head out to uh, ride a couple of different rides, have some fun today, kind of hit everything here on the boardwalk and uh, let's go. It says a 15 minute wait. It's not a 15 minute wait though. Let's go. Look who I found. What's going on everybody? <laughs> go check out Beach Club. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> yes, I just heard someone yell my name and I was like, what? Who's back there? <laughs> They're like, hey! <laughs> I mean <laughs> Milo, are you excited? Have fun. CBS News is in here for the eclipse too. So fun to run into Beach Cliff. Go check them out guys if you haven't yet. Um, I know a lot of you guys have. Most of you know who Beach Cliff is, but go check them out and uh, give them some support and love. I hope to see them a lot this season and probably another time today too. Now, the 
giant wheel, I will probably not be doing. That is a massive, massive line. Well, it's not one of the best rides at Cedar Point, but I do think it'd be fun to ride. And it's one of the few that's open today. So we're headed into Wild Mouse. There's at least a lot of empty space here, which means this won't be a terribly long line. Requires assistance from our maintenance team. Immediately. Maintenance is on I get in line and immediately. More information for Cedar Point, why in the world did you make this shitty, shitty ride? <laughs> Down constantly. What in the world? At this point, it's just comical. I don't really even care anymore because it doesn't have the longest lines. What a stupid ride. <laughs> And they have a different voice. Must be secured. Please secure all loose articles. Failure to comply may result. And here's my car. Let's go. Looks like I have two more rides for right now, and then we're gonna go live, which will be really fun. Here we are at Matterhorn. Let's go. They're fixing whatever problem happened over here people on Wild Mouse. Sean was doing it. He was my leader of winter chill out. And we're on the ride. No weight really at all. And the Matterhorn's done. And I see Snoopy right over here. So we're headed to our first character experience of the season. Hi Snoopy. It's so good to see you. Hey, can I ask you a question? What is your favorite part about Cedar Point? Oh, is it is it driving? Is it this? Or is it the rides? The rides, ah! I love meeting characters. I don't even care if it makes sense. It's just so much fun. Live in their world and have fun with them. All right, next, and our last one until Wild Mouse gets back up is Atomic Scramble, or Scrambler. So that's where we're headed right now. It's to Atomic Scrambler. Let's get in here. It looks like we're in at the perfect time to get right into the ride because they're all leaving right now. I think this has a new voice actor in it too. And here I am at two. Let's go. I've ridden scramblers at a whole bunch of different parks, including like amusement parks or including like fairs and stuff like that also. Um, I have never found one that is nearly as crazy or as powerful as the Atomic Scrambler here at Cedar Point. Um, this one is just, it's very fast, it's very fun, it's whippy, um, I love it. It's always enjoyable. And right in front of me here, or behind me now, I see Lucy. And I definitely have to go say hi to her because she's my woman, so let's go. Hi Lucy, how are you doing? It's so good to see you. We're glad to be back again. Hey, I have a really pressing question to ask you. Is that okay? Okay, cool. What is your favorite thing about Cedar Point? You, of course. Why would it not be you? That's awesome. <laughs> I love that so much, Lucy. Thank you so much. You have a great day. <laughs> All right, yeah, they have the kids' stuff closed over here, too. I love meeting characters. Meeting Lucy, she's my favorite. It is so much fun to meet her, to see her. And uh, I just, I, it is just a blast to be here at Cedar Point already today. Now, I'm not quite sure what all they have open down here on the main midway. It looks like it's closed off but I thought we had maybe an opportunity to go look at Top Thrill 2. So I'm just going to check out what's down here and if there's anything down here at all. They're going to be having like some testing of Top Thrill 2. I mean obviously it's here now where we can see it but this is not testing of Top Thrill 2. Like we can't even see it, we can't even get close to it. So it seems a little bit weird to me. Considering that I'm pretty sure we were told that. But there it is. There's Top Thrill 2 and there's that massive spike. Definitely gives off a different vibe than it did before. 
you've got even more of a twist and tangle of all of the different coasters right over here. Now, is Top Thrill 2 gonna be my cup of tea? Probably not. I'm coming into it with an open mind for the first try, but I have a feeling it's gonna be kind of a bit more intense than what I really wanna do um, as far as that backwards launch goes, because I don't like going backwards at all, especially not up a launch, uh, up a massive spike. Um, but we'll try it. We'll have some fun. I mean, at least it doesn't spin for me. I'm glad at least it doesn't spin all the way up. Um, so it can't be really much more intense than Wicked Twister was before. So we'll see. It might be pretty fun. We'll, uh, we'll leave judgment up for later. Now there's going to be a lot more that we're going to do today. Um, we're gonna be hitting up the beach and uh, grabbing some food, but pretty much all our rides are done at this point. That doesn't mean we won't ride more rides, and I'd still like to hit uh, Wild Mouse at some point today if they can ever get their act together. It's amazing to me. They're not even close to getting anything going, and people are still standing there in line for it. Why? You're just wasting your day. You're literally wasting your day. You're just wasting your day standing in a line that does nothing for you. So you might as well spend that time at least going to get a drink in the Grand Pavilion. You can even watch Wild Mouse and see when it starts up again there. But it's like people just don't want to lose their spot. So they're like, well, we'll just waste our day because we don't want to lose our spot. And it's like, that's... That's asinine. <laughs> don't, don't do that. I have a little yeah. photo op here. Total eclipse of the point, 4824. Also, it is incredibly hot. I've already started unbuttoning this shirt, although you can't tell because I have all this decolletage around my neck. That's happening, and I'll definitely be getting out on the beach today because it is way hotter than I expected it to be. Before we go into the Grand Pavilion though, I want to see how much time they say we're going to have over here. And Ooh, course, Max Air is going. One hour and 43 minutes. You know on. what? There's going to be a live countdown to totality. I and didn't there's hit. There's also live NASA footage on the inside of the Grand Pavilion if you guys really want to Ooh, see. Ooh, that'd be fun stuff. to see. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on at Cedar Point today. Make sure you guys soak in everything that it has to offer you. And of course, don't forget, I have some glasses up here. Do not look at the sun. Don't so we already have look. about two hours, okay. a little bit less than two hours. We're going to hit max air right now. Let's go. Now, it's been several years, like really decades, of me thinking that max air was a terrible, horrible ride. And then I rode it last year for an all flat ride challenge. And when I rode it that year, I realized I like it. So sometimes re-ride rides just to give them a try again. See if you maybe like them. Now they do have kids activities happening over here also. So stuff is going on for families over there. I don't feel like I would want to have spent 99 bucks for my daughter to come and ride kids rides. So um, this, is, this is a me thing. He said 46. Well, let's hop on that and let's go. Now in this case, I'm gonna put my bag over here in the bins. Yes. Check out the progress on this real fast. Did 
Did anyone see their signature? Don't mind me, I'm just being creepy. That's all. What is, what is the, what, we're being filmed for something. <laughs> all right, and our last stop right now, I mean, there's still some rides to ride, some things to do, but I don't think Wild Mouse is back up. I do know Troika Troika is still running, but I'm really not a Troika Troika fan. So we're headed our way into the Grand Pavilion now for a drink. We'll see if they have anything special that's for the total eclipse of the sun. Oh shoot, I meant to walk through though and see how much time we had left again. And I forgot because I got distracted by those clowns beach cliff. Okay, says we have an hour and a half till totality. So let's go. I think this is also a great moment to stop for a second and actually take a look at the sun. Now, obviously I'm not gonna look at the sun. I've got my glasses here. We're gonna use that, but let's see. I have my glasses on and I literally can't see anything. I can't see where it's pointed or anything. Okay, I can just see the sun. Nothing's over it yet. So we'll see what happens when it reaches the point of totality. Now, in case you lose them, break them, uh, misplace them, whatever it is, uh, there are more that you can get up at the main booth that's right over there. Um, so more people can get those there. I don't know why I need to tell you that now because this isn't gonna happen again for like 200 years, but you know, just in case you wanted to know. <laughs> Very busy here. The meals are the fresh fried fish platter, the three side platter, the boardwalk platters, and the grand platters. I'm not totally sure what each of those is, but I don't think my pass will work here for today. I don't believe so. And because of that, I'm wondering about just grabbing a snack upstairs if they have it open. Oh, they don't have the snack stand open at all. They do have the bar open though. I'm really up here for the bathroom. They are playing a live broadcast from NASA up here also that you can watch. I think this is the only food place that's open today. Probably a bad decision, honestly, on Cedar Point's part. But it's what we have. Let's go. I thought about standing in line for some fish, but that fish is $22.79 for some fried fish. Um, honestly, just hate that price no matter what, but I love the fish on the regular meal plan, um, which I've already gotten some decent amount of use out of, honestly. I need to start figuring out how much it's been so far for meal plans. But anyway though, because of that, I started thinking, you know, I don't, I don't want to get that right now. So instead, I think we'll live off of some snacks or maybe even some egg bites, things like that, that they have at the, uh, like at Starbucks. Um, so we're gonna kind of walk around a little bit. Although I'm kind of wondering if anything is open at Breakers Hotel or Hotel Breakers also. I'm not sure if there is or not, if you can even stay there this week or not. But I do know I want to get out on the beach and get my toes in the sand. First though, I need to grab something to eat. So we're gonna go over here. They have some new decals up for this huge air conditioned arcade. I still would rather it be a place to eat, but you know, we get what we get and we don't throw a fit. Usually, usually we don't throw a fit. Every once in a while, I'm known to throw a fit. All right, so coming up to Starbucks up here, Starbucks is the only other restaurant that's open. So Starbucks is open and um, the pavilion is open. So we're gonna see if we can find something good to eat inside Starbucks. I'm honestly, as often as I've been here at Cedar Point, I don't go into Starbucks that often. And I've never really tried to eat here 
because I have the meal plan. So even when I've gotten a drink at Starbucks, I, I haven't really made a note of whether they have options for food or not. So we're going to see what they have. It looks like lines are low, but that may be a bad, a bad omen for me. I know they have food options at the, at the Hotel Breakers option. I'm not sure if they have it here or not. Alright, and I see options. That's perfect. Let's see if we can find a breakfast sandwich that would work for us for lunch here at Starbucks. Also, not a terrible line in here either. And I can eat inside in the air conditioning too. This is a win-win-win. Just ordered my drink and uh, they're making it and also a breakfast sandwich. For the full breakfast sandwich and the full drink, it was $15. And with that, I have my drink, I have my little tiny meal, plenty for me to live today. <laughs> and uh, people are all kind of just waiting on the eclipse here. I'm about to head out and go live. Uh, press the subscribe button and like button if you haven't yet. We will still be continuing this video, but for right now, we're gonna be not going for a little bit. Okay, yeah. She just said an hour away, not quite there yet. So an hour away. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out though. And uh, let's keep going. I want to see if anything has actually started yet or not. So we're going to put these back on. Oh my word. Can't see at all. There it is. Oh, it has started. Oh, this is really cool already. can't really tell on this as well, but the whole side of it is taken off right now. Getting ready for the live stream, and I just forgot to <laughs> get on and do anything other than get on to my videos. <laughs> Wow, guys, that was incredible. <laughs> the the uh, eclipse was just something I've never seen before. I thought I'd seen something like that before, but that's like a whole different level. <laughs> so I, I've seen a partial eclipse before. I've never seen a full eclipse before. I've never seen it go dark because of an eclipse. And the birds were going crazy. Everything went wild. It got so dark out here. And then they ran Top Thrill 2 also, which is so much fun. <laughs> like just every part of it was just something that went beyond what I've ever seen before um, for that. And being here at Cedar Point for that was definitely the piece de resistance of that event. This like twice in a lifetime event for myself uh, that I got to be a part of. So definitely really fun. We also had like, 70 people on live stream like this is more people that i've ever had <laughs> joining on a live stream before um we even even after everything was done we still ha remained having 50 people on live stream like it's crazy it's so much fun and the the year is just getting started and there's already just so much momentum so um i'm definitely excited just about everything right now but we are on our way into the park um, to go check out a little bit more. Um, as you can see, I'm out here on the beach. I got my toes in the sand, although toes are uh, not in the sand now. I have my shoes on. Um, and got my shirt off, showing my tats. <laughs> We're having some fun because these are obviously real tats, right? Um, Drew and Yoko did this to me and it's, I thank them for it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's such a beautiful day. It's a fantastic time to be able to hang out here at Cedar Point. And we're gonna go in, we're gonna ride Wild Mouse. Um, unless it's dead. I think, I think it may be broken <laughs> again. <laughs> what? Why? Why is that ride, why does that ride exist? Can we get rid of that ride and put something good in instead? Anyway, we're having some fun. We'll try to finish up one more coaster and um, 
then we're going to try to kind of start heading out of here. Maybe we'll hit Gatekeeper one more time too because I always love Gatekeeper. Uh, but we'll go see what all we can do. I hope you're ready. Let's continue this vlog and let's go. We are headed to Wild Mouse right now. Hopefully it's not like a half hour line because we only have about a half hour. If it is, nah, it's not. Oh, that's an easy line. All right. We are going to get a very, very quick line on this. That's all the line there is. And then the people that are walking along with me. All right, that was so much fun. We had, I had a blast on that. Uh, we actually loaded it three on one side. That was with another group. Um, definitely really fun. It's a great ride. Um, although sometimes it spins too much for me. The funny thing is this time it spun a lot, but it spun in the right way so that I could always kind of see where I was headed. And those spinning times are really good. You just never know what you're gonna get. And a lot of spin sometimes is helpful and a lot of spin sometimes makes you really, really sick on it. So my biggest advice is to always be kind of trying to look where you're going. If you're feeling too dizzy, um, that's one thing like ballerinas do or ice skaters do is if they're spinning, they're constantly moving their head and watching whatever's going by. So they like pick a, a post like this. And as they spin, they'll, they'll see it here and then they keep spinning and they watch it. And then they pick the next thing and they keep watching it as they go by. So it's the same thing here. If you're riding wild mouse and you're spinning a lot, always be looking to the next spot and try to pick a post or something that you think will stay in your line of sight for a little bit. Follow that, follow that around and uh, you'll feel less dizzy. But I can't guarantee, like now I kind of know where the rough spots are, but that takes some time to figure those out. So you just have to ride it to figure those, those spots out. And I think our last ride of the night is going to be Gatekeeper which has literally no line at all. <laughs> Maybe we'll ride this three times, I don't know. Now, I rode it on the right earlier, so I'm gonna ride it on the left right now. All right, completely just a walk on other than that I have to stop here at the gate. Reach. They got rid of my favorite animatronic. So I'm mad at Gatekeeper this year. <laughs> He's, they, she's gone and it's sad. Thank you. All right, we have seven more minutes in this great day of off season beautifulness that's here. Um, so we're gonna ride one more time on Gatekeeper with absolutely no way whatsoever. So let's get on it and let's go. Now this time I, I think I'm gonna do again on the right side. I'm not sure which one I wanna do, on, honestly. I don't know that I have a, a favorite side. I think my favorite side is whatever side I haven't done last. We'll go at the back this time. Hello. Good, how are you? And at that, it's closing time. I am so sad to leave, but also that just tells me that I have a lot of fun today. So today's been a great day. Sure, it's a more expensive experience than what your normal experiences would be here at uh, Cedar Point but it's also kind of a special and different experience too. So we're gonna take one little walk around the parts that are open right now, and uh, then we're gonna head out. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. This was a blast for me. Um, I loved seeing you all on live. Um, and like I said, if you haven't 
watched the live yet and seen all of that, then go to it and say something to me down in the comments. Say you came from this video to the live. Love to hear you guys down there. Thank you, that was a blast. <laughs> Still doing a news broadcast up here. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, yeah. baby, I'm bad I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, chip on my shoulder Cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me Ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact Give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back I'm sick of being cautious I'ma go cause something, can't stop this I'ma steal everybody's lane, call it shoplift Sick of hearing everyone complain when they thoughtless Taste the pain, it's like candy canes It makes me go change into a better frame Into a better name, society's insane We all live for fame, yeah they're doing a planning video over there. That's cool. Got their DJI out. I'll be on the lookout for that. So excited for everything to get started here. We've got a while though. That's okay. Plenty of time for me to edit. It's definitely nice to be back in my happy place. Especially on such a nice day. Wish I could say that April will be as nice as this every day <laughs> and maybe it will be who knows we do have king's island opening up very soon but it's not quite time for it yet but either way we only have about a month at most before we're gonna be gracing the gates of cedar point all the time ploy rides can hear them hooping and hollering on there. See their feet. You think they still have the merch location open? A lot of times they do. Is it today? funny because they try to get you to leave but not until you look at merchandise ooh I love these longitude and latitude shirts those are cool ooh I love these those are cool be fearless now. Oh, I like those. Those are all cool. I mean, not for me, but I like them. Cedar Point, only good times. I like that too. Ooh. I like the Ferris wheel lamp holder. We've got some great hats over there. Very traditional hats over there. I haven't done anything like that yet. That's like an employee hat. That's cool though. Ooh, I like these brightly colored gatekeeper, steel vengeance hats, Rigaru. Oh my word. Okay. I love these. The layouts for every coaster. That's so cool. And it's time to leave. <laughs> I mean, we already started to leave, right? But now it's like the real time to leave. This is, this is like an Indiana goodbye. Like you say goodbye, and then you're like, okay, goodbye. And then everybody like puts on their shoes and then you say goodbye again. And then everybody like sits down on the couch and they're like, oh, we love you. And the, you know, you all give hugs and stuff. And then you give one more round of like kisses and hugs again before you leave. And then you say, okay, goodbye. And then you walk out to the car and then you say goodbye again. That, that's what this is. It's, 
me giving Cedar Point and Indiana goodbye. Bye, Cedar Point. See you in a month. Hey, thanks for watching. I release theme park related videos at least a couple times a week, so press that subscribe button if you made it this far. Also, check out similar videos in the playlist to the right or find my newest video to the left. Thanks again and let's go!